Imagine this scenario. You've just raised your funding and it was a down round and your team is rightfully concerned about being diluted. If you don't act, you run the risk of losing your team. In today's video, I will walk you through the secret weapon that will keep your team's equity from being diluted and thus your team from quitting. Hi, I'm Brett and on my channel, I help early stage startup CEOs like you raise your money and grow your startup. So if this sounds like you, then hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I release a new video. Let's get started. You and your team can suffer serious dilution depending upon the economic environment. In fact, your valuation might even be lower than the previous round. It's what's called a down round. Here's an example of what can happen. Let's say you have an employee that you granted stock options of 1% that vest over four years with a one year cliff. This is pretty standard. And let's say you gave the employee the stock options two years ago. So two years of equity have already invested. Then you raise a round of funding where the new investors take 50% of the company. So that employee has been diluted by 50%. This is entirely possible in a tough environment like 2023. Now that employee has 0.5% ownership. What's the problem you ask? It's what's called the clone effect. Let's say you hire an exact replica or clone of the person that was diluted. And to hire this person at this stage of the company's life, the market rate for equity is 0.8%. So person A who took more risk is getting 0.5% because he's been diluted by half. And the clone of person A who took less risk is getting 0.8%. That's unfair and wrong. Person A should always own more equity than person B, period. End of story. So what do you do? The answer is the secret weapon called refreshing. Refreshing stock option grants means you give a new grant to person A at the new market rate. It's like you're hiring person A again. Typically, this would be one or two year grants tacked onto the end of their existing grants. Let's compare person A to their clone post funding. As you can see, we're going out six years and you can see the equity for person A at a quarter percent, quarter percent, quarter percent for the first four years, and then 0.2%, 0.2% for the next two years. And if you add all of that up, person A has 0.9%, but the clone of person A is at 0.2% for four years, that equals 0.8%. So you can see that person A is in a better position than the clone of A, and that's as it should be. Now, whose options should you refresh? I believe you should refresh everyone's options that you want to keep as an employee, except for the founders. You and your co-founders shouldn't be refreshed until your equity is below the market rate for your role. But what if you have an option pool and you don't have enough options to refresh all your employees. What should you do? This is where the fun begins. You should ask your board to grant more options to the employees. It's in the board's best interest, your investor's best interest, and your best interest to do this. They should be supportive because refreshing the stock options of your existing employees keeps your employees financially motivated to keep working with you. It costs money, additional stock, and it hurts the performance of your company if you have to replace a large portion of your team every couple years. Refreshing stock options have been around for a long time. For example, well-known venture capitalist Andy Rashleff has written about the importance of refreshing employees. Here's what he said. Offering a transparent, consistent, and fair program of equity grants that employees can build into their long-term expectations. As a result, not only do you avoid cliffs, but you also tie both long-term tenure and contribution to their ownership stake. 
The best part is that as your company grows, you always grant stock in proportion to what is fair today rather than in proportion to their original grant. Andy Rushliff. The fight is do your new investors or old investors take the dilution? In other words, is the increase in employee equity granted before the round or after a new round of funding? My view is you don't care. All you care about is that there's an increase in the equity pool. You have to fight with all your power for your team. If this content is resonating with you, then please hit that like button right now. Here's a summary of what we've learned today. Number one, employee stock options will get diluted each round of funding. Number two, your employees will be concerned about this, especially in tough economic times. Number three, you have a secret weapon to keep your employee stock options from the effects of dilution. It's called refreshing. Number four, your investors and your board should be supportive because refreshing helps retain top talent. Now, what did you learn from today's video? Put your answer in the comments column below today's video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments column too. If you haven't already, then click that subscribe button right now to get more great content for startup CEOs. Now, I have one more thing for you today. I have a free startup pitch deck template that has all the slides that you need to create a great startup pitch deck template. All you need to do to get your free startup pitch deck template is click the link below today's video. Now, I'm Brett at brettjfox.com. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.